If you go into the prism icon, and I'll click on it here, you can see that I've already created one and we can just go through the steps. But basically, to add a prism, you would click on add, uh, name your prism, assign the legs to that prism. For this example, I've dragged in the mini S&P June and the mini S&P September. Once I've done that, I've got to configure which would be your working leg. Uh, for this example, I've made the June my working leg then set up the buy and the sell. Um, I've used for this spread as a one-to-one, -one, although for PRISM you can do ratios or uh, you do a ratioed spread or some kind of a butterfly or any kind of uh, multi-leg spread can all be done. When you do use something other than one-to-one, -one, we do a, what we call rounding preferences. So if we get a partial fill on a large order, it will either round up or round down and you can, you can set that preference. Uh, the next one would be set up the, the ratio. If you're doing a ratio spread, you could set it up so the price reflects that ratio. So if it's a 1 to 1 1.6 uh, ratio, that can all be added right here. For this example, again, I'm just using 1 to 1. Uh, my hot cold recalc zone has to do with the hot zone being away or close to getting filled in the market. Anything within those three ticks is what we call the hot zone. Anything outside of that would be the cold zone. So in the in the hot zone, we want it to recalculate as often as possible. So I can either put it as zero or one. Both would update automatically. Um, or when and I put in for the cold recalc a three, which would say, well, don't you're farther away from the market. You don't have to update until every three ticks. The next one is volume protection. I've set this up here so that second leg has to have at least a two lot in the, the leg that's being leaned on. So if you're executing a one lot, you have to at least have a two lot in that second leg in order to execute that first leg. You can change that to multiplier, so you can change that at any time to 1 to 10. And just note that if you're using a 10 lot, had it set to 10, you'd have to have a 100 lot working. In order to execute that trade. Next one is order type. You can set to limit limit or make that non-working leg the uh, market order. So it will just, once that working leg is executed, it just goes to the market on the second leg. Or you can use limit limit and use offset ticks, which I have here. I've got it set for two ticks. So basically it would execute at your price, but note that it will be executing that, that second leg two ticks through it in, in hopes that it gets something better but at least it's going to just go out to that worst price in order to get a better price. Next one is the implied prices. You can check those boxes and you can set up your accounts that way. So now just by setting up my prism, we just click on save and it is now saved and you'd be able to see your prism in the selector now is a contract like any other. So if you look at prism mini S&P, the differential is here and the underlying legs are here. If I place an order in my prism right now, you can see I'm working the order in the prism and I'm now that working leg is now working in the June. It is working one leg in the June, leaning on 13.037 and a half for the SEP for a differential of four. So it's working to buy 13.07 three quarters leaning on the 13.03 and three quarters. We also have one more thing on the prism that will give you a, a closeness to the market as well. It gives you all the information. You've got how many filled, how many are working, and how many are hung. If you do have a hung order, it will let you know very quickly so you, could, you can change that. So thank you.